Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the truck of Rudy is getting ready to get out of here. Yeah, we're still there at the truck stop. And it is fairly dark, as you might be able to see, but hey, it's uh, just about 7 o'clock here. So in about 2 or 3 minutes, we'll be, we'll be out of here. Yes, indeed. We could have left already, but hey, I slept in a little bit, but uh, hey, that's all right. We're not in such a big rush that we can't uh, afford to have a few extra minutes off, right? But we appreciate you guys tuning in today. So let's stick around for the rest of the show. Oh, yeah. Madison, Wisconsin. There you go, city of Madison. Yes, indeed. It's already been three and a half hours since we've been on the road. And yeah, that sun is starting to hide from us today again, like it did yesterday. Although I was talking to Angelo earlier, and uh, he's over there uh, just south of Chicago, and or south, southwest, I think, of Chicago there. And, he says it's nice and sunny over there, so uh, hopefully here before the end of the day we'll be able to see some sunshine today. Although I don't expect it to last very long, because the wife said at home it's actually raining at home. Uh, then I hope it ain't going to rain here today, but eh, if it does, it does, I guess. Nothing we can do about it. Eh? Just enjoying our trip and going down the road. And yeah, I'll probably go up to South Beloit or something like that. Probably make a pit stop somewhere down the road here. And, or I might even go a little bit into Illinois out there and pull into one of them oasis and rest areas up there and you know, have my 30 minute break or something like that. Or, or if Angelo gets unloaded early enough. I might be able to meet up with him later on today. It's a good possibility, depending on the timing. I'm still about eh, three hours of driving time away from Gary, Indiana, and he's getting unloaded right now, so he's only about 45 minutes from Gary, so depending on how long it's going to take to, to get him unloaded, it's a possibility we could meet up, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes, but anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what kind of day we're going to have today. Looks like we are getting closer to Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. And you usually know that when you see construction. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I mean, there is a lot of construction going on up here on this I-90 and and it has been going on for the last few years and it seems like they're never finishing it but oh well I guess uh, it's good in a way it gives people jobs and makes the ro road a lot smoother and we got good roads good interstate good highways and bridges and everything so I guess for that part it's good but hey Makes us having to slow down a little bit, that kind of sucks, but hey, we can live with that, right? But yeah, we're just cruising along there. I still haven't even taken my half an hour break yet, and we've been on the road now for five and a half hours for sure. So, we're gonna go down to the uh, petrol, I'm thinking, over there on uh, Gary, Indiana probably get me a little bit of fuel over there and then uh, and then I'll uh, have me a bite to eat probably go in there and take a shower probably do that I'm thinking of it anyways and then uh, after that I'll take off again and get some more miles in so that way we can make our delivery the day after tomorrow I right now only have 775 miles to go to my delivery, so 
I technically only need to do another 175 miles and I could still make it there tomorrow if I wanted. But then again, I'm just gonna do what I can and I'll probably try and get at least 200 miles in today so it'll be a little easier for tomorrow. I'll probably give the customer a call tomorrow morning or something like that and see if I can stop or park at their place overnight so that way I don't have to try and find me a truck stop tomorrow night that way we're right there we can park right there and be there right away first thing in the morning and that way we don't need to start our logbook or anything like that yeah that reminds me I still got to make myself available yet so that way Eastern Dispatch knows that we're going to be over there uh, the day after tomorrow morning delivering our load and then that way they can start planning something for us. Yes indeed. And I wouldn't mind going up to Toronto area tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow, you know. Get me some great miles in, that would be fantastic. But today is Halloween guys now, I don't really celebrate it but uh, my son does go trick-or-treating but I never had it in South America so for me it's not something we're used to doing so to me it's no big deal I don't dress up or I don't really celebrate it so so to me whatever it's just a regular day to me hey guys here we are going to this exit here at Gary, Indiana. Yeah! I'm gonna go down here and fuel her up. Take her half an hour break. That's required of us to do. Yes, indeed. We do need some go go juice, so I'm gonna fuel her up and We'll see what else we will be up to. On the left side. Yes, RJ, I know. This Petro is right here. So I gotta go in here. See if we can get some fuel today and see how much fuel we need. I can't fuel all the way because then I'll be overweight. That's right. So, let's see if we can get into the line and fuel up hopefully we can do that that would be nice that doesn't look too busy I mean yeah there is some trucks out there but not too bad well, looks like we can go so let's go in there and take care of business you have arrived at your destination on the yeah. left side Petro Gary number right, 369. We still have the arrow to go, so that's good. Let's go see where we can line her up to. Yeah, let's see. I'll have to see which aisle I can go into. I know there's a guy right there that I know. <laughs> yeah, he's right there, but I don't know. I guess we can't really get lined up over here, so we'll see if we can get into an island over here. Yeah, maybe we can. Maybe you can go in here and fuel her up. But, oh well, I guess we gotta pull in one of these fuel islands. Her up. Hey guys, we're over here at the uh, Petro here in Gary, Indiana. Now look at this. This is Angelo's new truck over there. He's over there hiding. <laughs> yeah, look at this beautiful truck he's got. Remember a while back ago when we met up with him? He had that white truck. And uh, as you guys all knew, he had an accident with that one. So that one kind of got written off. And so he gave me permission to look inside of here. 
Look at this. That's a very nice big space, eh? Wouldn't you guys say? I say that's a very nice space. Nice clean truck. Got the electronic log over here and all that stuff. That's pretty small. I would actually don't mind it having it right where it is like that. Very nice clean truck. He's just filling her up right now. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh, he's filling up the reefer over there. Yeah, that's how we look. Look at the nice shiny rims. That must be nice uh, driving a nice truck like that, eh? I know, right? Yeah, look at him actually do something for a change. <laughs> Only the Mexican, right? Yeah. <laughs> Only the Mexican, right? <laughs> Only problem is he's not Mexican, if you didn't know. Puerto Rican and Cuban. There you go. Trump so? all the way, Trump all the way. <laughs> you folks would disagree with that, but hey, I'm a Trump fan myself. Again, fueling. Again, fueling. I would have said, you haven't hung up the uh, passenger side yet, or? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's weird. But anyways, well, how are you feeling after your exit on all that? I'm good. I still got some back pain. Yeah? But thank God the guy bucks said it was the time to go, so. There you go. I know a lot of my viewers are always asking you, uh, uh, asking me, how's Angelo doing, you know? How's Angelo doing all the time, you know? Well, I'm, I'm back. And You're I'm back. strong, and then you saw my new my new sweetheart. Yeah, I, I just showed you guys. My, my new girlfriend. <laughs> don't let the wife know. <laughs> hey, don't watch. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we don't have a whole lot of time to waste over here. It's yeah. a nice meeting with you, Angelo. It's always great. This time we got to turn and burn. Yeah, me too, yeah. All right, we'll be back, guys. Here we are, guys. We are now leaving the truck stop. <clears throat> I think we wasted enough time in there. But we did have some valuable things done. Which is we had a bite to eat. And we had us a very nice shower. Yes indeed. Now we smell nice and fresh again. Filled up a little bit. So here we go. Now we're putting the hammer down again. And getting out of here. Yes indeed we are. But go uh, hit the interstate and let's see uh, let's see what we can find to show you guys today I gotta get down on this I-65 here in a little bit so uh, we'll go down here and see if we can get a few miles more behind us yet today we have about 715 miles to go to our delivery, so, so all I really need to do is about 100 miles today and I'll be good to go. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. Then I could actually make it there tomorrow. But we'll see. We might go a little further than 100 miles. I mean, let's face it, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so... I could do 200 miles, and uh, we're almost 200 miles, and it'll be 6 o'clock this afternoon, right? So we'll, uh, in 0 .2 miles we'll get a few miles in, that's for sure. South, and then keep to the left in 0 0.4 miles. I'm going to try and do at least 120, maybe even a little more miles in today. That's the plan. We'll see where that will lead us. But anyways, let's continue on cruising there and we'll go from there. Alright guys, we are done for today. Yes, indeed we are. We're here sitting at the Fly and J right now and just uh, relaxing. We're going to go to bed here pretty soon. So, yeah, it's been a good morning. Actually, it is. I am actually filming this the next morning. <laughs> so we're not actually getting ready to go to bed. But anyways, we're just finishing off our day. I hope you enjoyed my little vlog today, my little journey. If so, if you did, give me a big thumbs up and we will see you tomorrow. So don't go nowhere. Check out to see what we're up to tomorrow. <laughs>